What is up, everybody, and what is good? Happy Friday, you know what I'm saying? It's the weekend. So you guys really, you know, enjoy your weekend and your Friday and uh, do different things. Play your sports, play your games, you know, watch my videos, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay, anyways, I'm sorry. But uh, yes, we do have a Draft Champions video, and you guys did kill it last time. I mean, I checked my last Draft Champions video, and I was like, oh my god, these dudes loved it. These guys loved it. These girls loved it. Everybody loved it. So I was like, you know what? It is time for me to drop another one. But uh, this time... Uh, I did something a little different. I did um, a head-to-head. -head. I didn't do the ranked um, draft champions one, but comment down below and let me know. If you guys want to see my ranked draft champions video, uh, I'll put that up tomorrow because I did record that as well. But this time, I really did um, just did a head-to-head. -head. And, I mean, if you guys are really peeping what's going on right now, I had really, really good players. I got Deshaun Jackson in that last pick. You know what I'm saying? Y'all saw that. Now, the reason why I wanted to put this up is... Um, something very crazy happens in this game. I mean, this is probably the craziest game I have ever played in Madden. Like, ever. And then the ending is just... Oh my gosh. I got, I almost cried. Seriously. I almost cried. Like, the ending was just ridiculous. So, I was like, you know what? I'm going to put up this gameplay for y'all. And then tomorrow, if you guys want to see it, uh, don't forget to like this video as well. So that I know you guys want to see this uh, gameplay tomorrow of my ranked draft champions. Because that was actually really good too. Uh, even though my team is not that good. We're winning games and I don't know how. So, um, let's just get into this. I'm sorry. But look at the receiver trio that I got right here. Joe Horn, Jeremy Macklin, Jericho Kotri. I mean, jeez. Who do I pick? Who do I select? But if you guys do know, Jericho Kotri is a 92. Joe Horn is also a 92. But Kotri has um, actually better stats than the legend Joe Horn. So I end up going with Jericho Kotri because that man is a beast. That man has a flashback card. And I actually really do like flashback cards. Unless the legend card is really, really beast. Now this is round 7. And in round 7, we have a good running back, left tackle, and we have... DeAndre Hopkins, who's also a monster, but we got to get some protection for our quarterback because we have none so far. So we got the left tackle from the Eagles. Now we're jumping into round eight, and round eight has about... Has okay cards, but we're going for the right tackle this time. I don't really need a running back right now, nothing else. Oh my gosh. Doug Baldwin, Michael Vick, Marcus Mariota, dog. You already know I'm going with that 2010 flashback Michael Vick. 91 overall. That card is, oh, I'm, I'm speechless right now. Right now, okay guys, oh my gosh. So far, I got Michael Vick flashback, Deshaun Jackson flashback, Jericho Koshry flashback, and now I'm gonna get a safety, Anton Bethea. 86 overall for the 49ers. I mean, that man is, is a very good player, and he has a very good card, and so far, my team is looking really, really good. Now, defensive tackle, right outside linebacker, and a middle linebacker named Dequell Jackson. It's a pretty cool name. You got a Q in his name, which you don't really see, but uh, yes, I'm going with the right outside linebacker with Lance Briggs, 82 overall. He can really help my team there. Now, uh, I got Fred Jackson. I got a center from the Giants, and I got Brett Selleck. Now, um... Not bad, once again, but I need blockers. Like, you guys you guys know that sometimes I'm not the best at just eluding the, the, the defender, so I need somebody to block for me so that I can just stand in the pocket and throw the ball. Now, look at that left guard. Road to the playoffs, 86 overall. That's a snipe for me. I have to go after that. Now, my line's looking really good. And it's, it's looking beefy, you know what I'm saying? The big boys up front to block for my QB, which is Michael Vick. Now, you see the Darius Green, Theoretic, and Brandon Cooks. I have a bunch of receivers. You guys already know that. Now, Darius Green is a fast tight end. 92 speed for a tight end, y'all. That is crazy, and that is ridiculous. So, he's going to join my team. 83 overall. Now, wow. Now, wow. Round 15 did, did me nice. Round 15 is an early Christmas present. Curtis Martin, Bruce Smith, and John Elway. Now, have you guys seen me draft anybody on defense really yet? Besides maybe Lance Briggs and Anton Bethea? No, I have no cornerbacks, no pass rushers. I mean, I'm kind of struggling right now with that. So what I have to do here is go with Bruce Smith, beef up my defense just a little bit, beef up my defense a lot. That man is a 94 overall, and I really need to just get to the quarterback. Now, here's my offense, and look at my offense. This is probably the nastiest offense in Draft Champions ever. I mean, come on. Three flashback cards, two of them receivers. One is the Michael Vick, and I got a Mike Evans card. And I got Deshaun Jackson in a slot. 
Y'all, man, this is probably... You guys are just gonna... Oh, my gosh. Anyways, uh, this is the defense right here. You guys see Bruce Smith right there, my right end. And um, Anton Bethea. I got Carlos Dansby as well. 87 overall middle linebacker. But that's about it. I mean, I got Trey Waynes as a cornerback. I got this guy Denard as a cornerback. Wilson. I mean, my best cornerback's 73 overall. Like, this is not gonna be the best thing for me right now also Deshaun Jackson will be kicking and punting returning for me not kicking but kick returning and punt returning for me okay so we're jumping into this game and we're going straight into the third quarter you guys see that I'm down 14 to 0 you asking me how am I down 14 to 0 just don't even worry about it because it's what's about to happen is what we got to worry about now 14 to 0 still second and eight Michael Vick is chilling in the backfield play action. Ladarius Green is down there with the speed. He jumps, and what a catch. That was an aggressive catch by Ladarius Green, and the score is now 14-7. Now we jump into the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter is just starting. Third and eight here. We have to get this because, I mean, it's not looking good for us. And there goes Michael Vick chilling in the backfield. He takes off, throws the ball across the middle, and Jericho Cotri is there for the catch. And he holds on to the ball after getting cracked. Now it's first and 10, three minutes and 35 seconds on the clock. Vic once again is in the shotgun and is chilling, has a lot of time, throws the ball deep, and Jericho Cotri is there to hold on to the ball. I knew he was gonna be there, but I was like, yo, can he hold on to it? So here we go again, Michael Vick, two yard line, throws the screen to Mike Evans, breaks the tackle, stays up, and then gets tackled in the end zone. So you guys do see the score is all tied up at 14 now. We did our thing. I mean, we had to do a miraculous comeback, but that comeback was very miraculous now it's we're still tied we kick the ball off okay he gets the ball cuts to the left cuts back to the right untouched y'all saw that he was untouched and he runs his way into the end zone now they're back up by seven i mean this is all happening like within the third to quarter to the fourth quarter. Now on the very next play, they kick the ball off to me. Deshaun Jackson gets the ball. Deshaun Jackson gets the ball to the right, cuts it back to the left, breaks the tackle, spin move, and Deshaun Jackson uses those legs, those cheetah legs, and he takes off on the very next play, on the very next kickoff. Back-to-back -back kickoff for touchdowns. And the score is all tied up at 21 now. I mean... I was playing this game and I was like, yo, what is going on? So with a minute and 42 seconds on the clock, okay, it is third and 11. All I have to do here is stop him. He throws the ball. He breaks one tackle, breaks two, breaks three, and breaks four tackles and gets a first down. How? Explain to me. That was a minute and three on the clock, first and 10. They're on the 18-yard line. They have been marching down the field, okay? Now Stafford is calling out all these different audibles. And there's a man wide open in the middle. He jumps. I tackle him. But he gets into the end zone. So now they're up again by 7, 28 to 21. There's 19 seconds left in this game. 19. Second and 10. Vic drops back. Vic has a cannon and he launches the ball before he's hit to Jericho Cotri, who catches the ball. Okay, like from, from my own 35 to their 10. Now there's five seconds left in the game. I have both my flashback guys to the left hand side. I'm doing all these audibles because I'm nervous. I'm very scared. I'm on the 10 yard line. I sent Kotri in and wide open. There he is in the end zone. Now we are down by one point, okay? And I was like, you know what? Do I go for it or do I go into extra time? I mean, there's only two seconds on the clock. What do I do? So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be a real guy right now. I'm gonna go for it. I came back from 14 down, back to back kickoffs for touchdowns. I mean, straight headache i was like you know what i gotta go big or go home that's what i was you know i was raised to do so here i go so i'm trying to you know click the play right here i'm trying to back out to go get a play and uh, i'm clicking the button and it's not working like i'm being for real it's not working you guys see the clock winding down now why would i waste the clock now comment down below guys and let me know if this has ever happened to you sometimes there's times where you try to pick a play but the play will not go through i mean the buttons weren't working and this happens to me like I wouldn't say often, but this has happened to me more than once, more than five times, okay? So I know I play a lot of Madden, but this has happened to me multiple times. And this is the first time this has happened to me, like this situation, craziest game. Can you guys imagine, like if I went through all of this, won the game, but this is happening to me. So there's six seconds left and I'm smashing these buttons right now. Like I'm just, I'm just smashing the buttons and it's not working. Okay, so there's another flag. And I'm just, I'm, 
I'm just so upset right now. Okay. So I'm like, you know, maybe I'm calling timeout. Wait, I have no timeouts. And that's the thing. Usually if you have timeouts and you call timeout, that's how you get out of this. But I had no timeouts because I was put in a situation to come back and I had to use my timeouts and I had to do this, do that. So, I mean, what am I supposed to do? Now there's 10 seconds, okay? And I am smashing the controller. I'm leaving my room and I'm going to Kay's room. And I'm like, yo, Kay, what is going on? I'm going to, onto the boss's room. I'm like, yo, what is going on? And we're all standing here tripping. And then I got removed from the game for excessive delay. Now, do you guys really think that I wanted to delay excessively? And that's what really bothered me about this and why this game came down to the wire and then the wire of this game just ruined me like <sighs> okay I went on a long rant at the end but you guys just see how that game went and it was ridiculous I did lose that game unfortunately and it was not my fault but uh yeah, there it is. Um, but yeah, probably the craziest ending that I've ever gone through. And the craziest way to lose a game ever that I've ever experienced. But I hope you guys did enjoy the episode. Stay tuned for way more episodes coming out soon. Also, once again, don't forget to give this video a like if you want to see another one tomorrow. The one tomorrow will be the draft champions of my ranked draft champions. So it will be a different team. Obviously, this team's already done because I lost with them. But my ranked draft champions video tomorrow. Uh, stay tuned for way more videos coming out soon. For now, you guys already know, I'm out.